Hello and welcome to the eighth day of the Novena to Our Lady of Lourdes. Tomorrow, the 11th of February, is the Feast of Our Lady of Lourdes and it's also the International World Day of the Sick. Because of our experience of COVID-19 during the past year and the threat that it still poses to our health and safety, we're making a very special effort this year to pray the Novena to Our Lady of Lourdes on the days leading up to the feast day and on the feast day itself. Please make sure to ask as many of your friends and relatives as possible to join in this novena as well and to start it whenever they can. I am leading the uh, novena each day on the Arma Diocesan Facebook, on the Arma YouTube page and also on the Arma Praise website. And so we begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mary, Our Lady of Lourdes, you appeared at the Grotto of Massabiel to Bernadette, a simple shepherdess. You brought her the radiant light of your smile, the gentle, resplendent brightness of your presence. Day by day you built a relationship with her, where you gazed at her gently as one person talking to another. We too come before you in our poverty, as we humbly pray to you. May those who doubt discover the joy of trust. May those who despair sense your discreet presence. Mary, Our Lady of Lourdes, you revealed your name to Bernadette by simply saying, I am the Immaculate Conception. May we discover the joy of a forgiveness that never falters. Instill in us the desire for a rediscovered innocence and a joyful holiness. Help the blinded sinner. You who gave birth to the Saviour of the world, look tenderly on our beautiful but sometimes tragic world. Open in us the path of hope. Guide us to the one who is the living source, Jesus your Son, who teaches us to call God Father. And so now we'll say uh, one decade of the Rosary, and today we'll say the third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. (coughs) Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of her death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Lady of Lourdes, pray for us. Saint Bernadette, pray for us. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. So now we'll have our uh, reflection for today. Communal solidarity is expressed in various ways to support our neighbour. Caring for our sick and suffering brothers and sisters is not a task only for healthcare or pastoral workers. Christian love generates a healing community that does not leave anyone behind, is inclusive and welcomes the most vulnerable. So reflect for a few moments now in silence on how we can help to build a community that reaches out to all those who are weak, who are suffering, who are vulnerable. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And we say together the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. So thank you for praying the Novena with me today and I'd ask you please to join me tomorrow uh, for the last day of the Novena which of course is on the feast of Our Lady of Lourdes itself. So I'd ask you now to bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God, through the intercession of Our Lady of Lourdes, always keep you every illness and adversity far from you, and in his kindness pour out upon you the gift of his blessing. May you know always and everywhere the protection of Our Lady, to whom you have been found worthy to receive the author of life. May you, who have devotedly prayed this novena today, carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joys and heavenly rewards. And may the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever.